In this photo editing tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a perfect black background when you are actually not using a black background. This is a photo submitted by one of our community students, Christina Webb, and here is the before and here is the after. Thank you, Christina, for asking this question. She is using a, it's actually a white background, but because of the lighting, it does look rather dark already. Of course, using a black background, if you have a paper backdrop or you have a black wall would be preferable. And our student, Christina, said she's going to try to do that for some future experiments. But if you don't have a black background and you just have a neutral colored wall, if you put your subject far enough away from that background, you can still get some nice shots. Now, this is sort of what I think we're trying to achieve, these nice, portraits of your pet with a black backdrop, very direct lighting that could be from a flash or from a continuous light source coming up from above or from an angle to get this kind of style of lighting. You can see that even with this photo right here, there's still a little bit of vignetting and you can see the background. So it's not necessarily pure black, which might not be what you're going for. And go ahead and give Christina a follow over on Instagram and check out her work. She's down in Australia, AUS, Australia Horizons Photography. All right, so here we are, and I've created a virtual copy to edit this photo. You can do that by right-clicking and then just choose, where are we? Create virtual copy right there. And then you can do multiple types of edits just to play around with and it helps with creating these tutor tutorials as well. So this is the raw file that we're getting started with. And so your first thing that you might do is say, okay, well, I wanna bring down the exposure. So we're gonna bring down that exposure. Oh, wait a second. Now our subject is underexposed. So that's, these sliders aren't the ones that we're gonna play with. I'm actually thinking that I wanna actually bring up some of these shadows and the exposure. I think overall this photo could have been helped with a more of exposure on the dog's face. The left side of the dog's face is super dark and I think it gets a little bit noisy in there there's a little bit of digital noise once I start bringing up those shadows and here you can really see the background is not a black background so how do we take something like this where now the pupper is a little bit exposed better but how do we get the background to be black thankfully Lightroom Classic and also Lightroom the cloud-based version has some new masking features so what I would do first is start with selecting the subject so now we have our subject selected but we want the background to be selected so that whatever we're doing with these adjustment sliders is applied to the background so in this menu if you click on the mask and then click the selection that we've created which is subject one click these three dots and choose invert and now with the overlay button on you can see what's being selected so this is a quick way in Lightroom to do this. Now, of course, in Photoshop, you would have more control over how this selection is made with the hair and things like that. I can still use some brushes in Lightroom to make some adjustments, but I would say if you wanna be super precise with like the hair selection, I would take this into Photoshop, but right in Lightroom, it does actually a pretty dang good job. You can see these hairs here that aren't selected. Uh, it, I'm impressed. And so what you would do now is just take your exposure and bring it back all the way down. Now, once I start to do this, this you might be happy with this. Maybe I'll bring down the highlights and the shadows, everything, so it's more of a pure black. But once I start to do this, you can start to see that some of the hair around here doesn't look great. Well, another thing we can do is we can actually add a radial gradient so we're gonna choose radial gradient we're gonna click and drag now this radial gradient is selecting the inside so I'm actually going to again right click that or just click those three dots invert and now I want this to be pretty feathered out just making some adjustments here and so now some of this exposure adjustment is going to be applied 
to the the edge of the 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 dog as well. And so as you can see now, it's a little bit more natural in how the light falls off of the dog. So let me turn this one off, on, off, on. See that? Off, on. So you don't see that weird sort of detail of the issue with the edge of the hair. I might even go in here, create a new mask. I'm just gonna choose a brush and I'm going to just start with the exposure down a little bit and then just start brushing on the edge of the hair. The hair on this side's not too bad. It's really this side that I didn't like at all. And so now we have those two brushes uh, or those two masks working together and I think in terms of lighting and getting that background perfectly black, we are looking pretty good. Now, another thing I might do just to make this photo look a little bit better is I'm going to create another radial gradient. This time I'm gonna put it over the dog's face and I'm applying it to the dog's face. And I could actually do this with just a select subject, which might actually be a little bit better. I'm actually gonna do that, delete that, select subject. What I wanna do is just select the dog and make some changes. So I'm gonna actually increase the contrast just a little bit. I'm still gonna boost those shadows just a little bit. Add some clarity. With animals, with their fur, I often like boosting clarity just a little bit. If you go too far, it starts to look a little bit too like HDR. Maybe that's your style, but um, adding a little bit of extra sharpness to our dog as well. I think makes it pop. And I'm also gonna just add a little bit of saturation here, make those browns and golds of the fur just pop just a little bit. Maybe just a touch of warmth. To really dive in, I, I think that this eye, I don't know, what do you think? Is it too dark? Maybe. I might take another brush and just actually boost the exposure just a little bit, just in this area. I don't want to go too far because then it looks like it's an eye patch. But you can really see if I boost that contrast or the exposure, you see that digital noise just because there just wasn't enough information. And this is where we could actually go in here with the noise reduction slider for this specific brush and reduce it, although then it becomes a little less sharp. Maybe you like the contrasty look. And maybe we want another linear gradient coming this side of the face like this and just decreasing the exposure even more, more contrast. That's kind of cool. All right, so these are a lot of techniques you can use to improve just the style of your photo. But in terms of just getting that perfect black for this photo right in Lightroom, using the subject mask and then inverting that to just uh, choose the background I think helps and then just decreasing that overall exposure on the background looks pretty good. So there you have it. This is the final product just from this little edit which is pretty close to what I did before. I think I have a little bit of that noise reduction that I didn't apply to the eye in this one. I might just apply a little bit of noise reduction overall right here. It's looking pretty good. Cool, I hope this helps you with your photos. Coming from a white backdrop to this sort of stylized portrait, not bad. All right, let me know what you think and we'll see you in another video. Cheers.